Hey, Jim Murphy here from You Break It, You Fix It, and this time we're going to see if we can trust science again. So we're working on Project Flaming Skull right now, and I had some old gasket materials stuck to the base of this. So I'm trying to remove this gasket, and they make this really interesting stuff. They they make this really interesting stuff that has a very misleading name. It's called gasket remover. So we're gonna throw some of that on there. Now, some of you are probably gonna stop watching right now thinking that I'm an idiot, but I remember when I was a very young man, I was rebuilding a snowmobile engine and I was scraping the crap out of it with a metal, with a metal putty and someone's like, uh, what are you doing? They make a spray that just takes that stuff right off. So I thought I'd share it with all of you that they make gasket remover. This stuff is super expensive, but super, super expensive, but super worth it. Cause you know, whatever, this is $12. Yes, that's a lot of money, but that cylinder over there costs more than $12. So it's spending money to save money. To show you how stuck on this gasket stuff is, I have a brand new clean razor blade. There's some gasket material on this edge right there. You can see it's still, you see that black stuff, it's, it still won't even take it off, and that's a brand new razor, razor blade. I read the directions of Good Boy, and we're going to smear this stuff on and see how well it works. I'm assuming, like anything, a little bit of this stuff goes a long ways, and it was $12, so I like to, so I like to conserve as much as possible. All right. The gasket seal, the gasket remover sat for a long time because I forgot all about it while I was doing something else. Let's see how our science pro project turned out. And don't be like me, use a plastic tool. I'm just using a razor blade because I'm too lazy to get one. Well, it's definitely softer after sitting, but I think I'm gonna have to do several applications of this. Stuff is actually coming off, which is nice, but it didn't work as well as I hoped. But it's a lot better than nothing, and it still doesn't damage the aluminum surface. All right, back at it. Round two, I smothered, I smothered a bunch more of this gasket remover on there. It is very foamy. They didn't lie. So we'll see how well it, we'll see how well this does this time. Man, that stuff is on there. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let it sit for a while longer. Man, I gotta tell you, this gasket's kicking my ass. I put on probably three coats of this stuff yet yesterday in half hour increments, which I thought from reading the directions it'd be just one time and that's it. So what I did is I didn't follow the directions and I put a coat of this on overnight and let it sit. So we'll see what happens now. Well, now we're making some headway. We finally got all the gasket material off. This project really kicked my ass. Like, like many, it's you plan for five minutes and it takes four days. And this is one of those projects that you can't you can't really do it without a tool like this chemical, that, without this gasket remover. Because if you use any metal tool on it, yeah, I use I used clean razor blades on this. But with a little bit of know-how and experience, you can do it without marring the surface. Well, I would definitely say that you can't do this job without a chemical like this gasket remover. If you know any tips or tricks to getting old gaskets off of cast aluminum, please hit me up down in the comments. I love to find new ways to do stuff. And plus, it helps out people on the channel. I can even do a cast aluminum redemption video. But... It was really amazing. The direction said this would take 15, 15 minutes, possibly 30, possibly 30 minutes. And I actually ended up letting this set over overnight and then coming out the next morning. I mean, you can see I changed my shirt to show that time has passed. That's all I have for you this time, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on You Break It, You Fix It.